This is Jonathan and Andrew Loris. Now, first, Andrew Loris. I, I, I started digging around on Andrew Loris. And do you know, there's not anywhere on the face of the globe that there is an Andrew Loris that spells his name this way. If Andrew Loris exists, he doesn't know how to spell his name. All right. So I started looking at this payment agreement. Now, th this was created in Miami, Florida. And it says, no all men by those present. What are we in? Medieval times? <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> all gather on town square. Here, no, no all men by these presents. This agreement made an execute. Execute? They don't know how to spell executed? At Florida. You don't say at Florida, you say in Florida. This is somebody whose second language is English or third language or whatever. And not only does he not know how to spell his name, he doesn't know when to capitalize it. Okay. Because it's not capitalized. But agreement is, and this signature here on this other one here, these are obviously, you can lay one of these on top of the other, and we did. This signature is copied. Okay. But it's drawn up by attorney James M., I so he doesn't that, have a last name? Well, I, I commented that it, there was nothing legal to it because it wasn't signed properly. These are bogus documents. I knew they weren't legal. Well, well, why would he send you this? Maybe he thought I was dumber than I sounded on the phone. I don't know. Why did he send it? But he, he sent you oh. bogus documents to show you that he needed $16,500 and $34,800 over here. Mm -hmm. So the, again, it's just, hey, money, money, money. I, I need this money. Okay. Now, at one point, he needed $10,000 because he hurt his hand on the job, right? Right. So he wasn't just being held captive. He was still working. Well, that was prior to this job. Mm -hmm. But yes. I blurred this because I didn't want people in the audience throwing up, but it, it, this is basically severed across here, right? It was hanging. He needed $10,000 to buy a machine to fix his hand. Is that true? In the basement. Is that true? Should be. The person he was living with was a retired nurse she knew a retired doctor. The two of them fixed his hand. But he needed 10 grand for a machine to finish the job. I was told he needed 10,000 for the medical bill. Okay. He got over it pretty quick. He does heal fast, right? I understand he has a scar. But yes, it, his hand still, he can still use it. Yeah. Well, we talked to a hand surgeon and we showed him this picture he said this would be a 20 hour procedure in a hospital operating room if if you could save the hand you might have to amputate the whole thing it would be a 20 hour procedure at a hospital and that didn't add up so you'll never have a normal hand again even if it is repaired and and so we started looking around and we, we found this picture on the internet three years ago. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. It was a circular saw accident. Somebody put their hand in a circular saw. So right. he didn't hurt his hand in November 2020. Somebody else did back in 2017, 2018. He just found a picture on the internet and sent it to you and said, ouch, I need 10 grand. Okay. He didn't hurt his hand. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.